Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be making a delicious Mexican rice. If you're interested in seeing how I do this, come cook with me and I'll show you how. Now let's get started on those ingredients. You're going to need some caldo de tomate, caldo de pollo, onion powder and garlic powder, some rice, minced garlic, olive oil, diced onions, and if you prefer some mixed vegetables. Now let's get started. On a medium heat, you're gonna wanna take your oil and place it into your pan. Once you place the oil into your pan, you're gonna get your rice and you're gonna also place it into the pan. Now it is optional to you if you wanna rinse your rice prior to placing it into your pan. I don't wash my rice prior to cooking it. I notice that it doesn't make a difference. My rice doesn't clump up. So that is your preference. So I'm gonna start tossing around my rice and I'm gonna make sure that it browns. And we are looking for a light brown or a white color of the rice and we're gonna try to lose that translucent color that is the normal way the rice looks. So it looks like a clearish white or a lightish white and you do not want that anymore. You want it to be like a toasty brown or you want it to be more of a really dark white color. Now, you do not want to let it sit too long on your pan and allow the heat to get to it. So every now and then you just want to toss it and just keep tossing it so every side of the rice can get that golden color. This process should also take about five to six minutes. And now we're coming up and this is, I don't know if you can really tell, but it is turning like more of a white color as opposed to the translucent color that it looked at the beginning. From here, our next step is to add in our minced garlic and our diced onions. And you're going to notice that your minced garlic might turn a little toasty as well and that's perfectly fine. But we're just looking for our onions to get a translucent color. So you're just going to toss it around to make sure that that garlic doesn't burn. But once you're done with this, you're going to start adding in your water. So as you notice, my, my rice is now turning that toasty color that I'm talking about. And now I'm going to add in my water. So for every cup of rice, you're going to add in two cups of water. So I have a cup and a half of rice, so I'm gonna add in three cups of water, and then I'm gonna put in my seasonings. I have my caldo de tomate, caldo de pollo, my garlic powder, and my onion powder, and then I'm gonna start stirring it around to make sure that everything is all in there. All the seasonings can get in there and it can start flavoring it up. So now, from this step, you wanna make sure that you make a high simmer for five minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn up my heat to a medium high and let it sit for five minutes. The five minutes is coming to the end and then from here I'm gonna add in my mixed vegetables. Now this is totally optional. If you like the vegetables, go ahead and add it in. But if not, you could skip this step. I'm gonna add in the vegetables and then I'm gonna cover up and put it on low for an additional 15 minutes. You're gonna allow it to steam and then you will get to this step. 15 minutes is going. You do not want to open up your top. You do not want to touch your rice. You just want to let it sit for the 15 minutes on low heat. Now we're here at 15 minutes. Our rice is finished. It is complete. It smells so good. I'm just going to toss it around with a fork. As you can tell, it is not clumpy. It is ready to be served. And there you have it, you guys. Our rice is ready to be served in we just could not wait to dig in. 
Rice was one of the most hardest things I thought existed in this cooking world, but it really isn't that hard if you remember those simple steps. I hope you enjoy this recipe just as much as me and my family do. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already a part of my cooking family, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But until then, I'll cook with you later, guys. Bye!